guys, it's iGamer 1994 here, and today I have a new series that I'm calling Let's Play Football Manager 2011. Um, I'll be playing through the career as a manager, and each month will be an episode. Unfortunately, there's no 3D gameplay this time, but there should be some in the next episode, and we're starting with July 2010. As you can see, I've chosen to manage Arsenal, and my main target this year is to challenge for all four trophies. The first bit of bad news is that Abu Dhabi and Manuel Muno are both unhappy about being transfer listed. They did this because I saw him as not being good enough for my squad and they didn't really feature in my plans to be honest. This player here is, oh there's a um, thing about Diaby being unhappy. Um, let's wait for this. He's unhappy because he thinks I'm pushing him out of the club which he doesn't want to leave. Okay, this is one of my main targets this year. His name's Kevin. He plays in um, Spain for Real Zaragoza. He's 18 years old, and he will cost. He should cost me about 1.5 mil. Um, I will have a bit of competition for Real Madrid, but he's touted as Nick Xavi, so he should be worth the price. Um, he's got good flair, first touch, and stamina attributes. But once I've signed him, he should have a lot more strong um, stats, as I'll show you later. Well, in the next episode, probably. Um, this is a player called Sergio Roberto. He's a young Spanish midfielder signed from the Barcelona youth squad for about 1.6 million. He isn't going to be as good as Kevin, apparently, but he's also meant to be, if the right guidance, he's meant to be as good as Cesc Fabregas. He should be sent on loan to a lower league club this year so he can learn English and adapt to the English way of playing football. I don't want him to go anywhere below the championship. I think a year in the championship would be good because he'll learn English, get experience and hopefully be okay. Might go up next year as well, I'm not sure yet, but he should develop into a good player. The first game we played was... Um, against Boreham Wood. No it wasn't. Tell a lie, it was against Barnet. And um, I've chose a mixed team with new and youth players. Most notable ones are Henry Lansbury, Emmanuel Frimpong, and Mal and Shamak. It was quite a convincing win with Lansbury getting in man of the match before he substituted about half time because he's tired. Um, Roberto and Scalacci always scored as we dominated all areas of the game as I had expected we would. I was also impressed with the way Emmanuel Frimpong looked because he's not very. I hadn't tested him much, and I, I will be using him in this first first team throughout the year, along with a few other youth players like Lans Lansbury, Wilshire, and hopefully Ramsey when he gets over his broken leg. And there's just some stats of the players for you. That was against Bo Barnet, and now we're playing Boreham Wood, and I picked pretty much the strongest side for this to give them a run out. Um, with both Robin Van Persie and Cesc Fabregas being included and as expected once again we dominated the game in came away with a quite convincing 4-0 win. Van Persie was our best player and then man of the match for his efforts I believe he scored two goals and he did get substituted but unfortunately um, as you can see here in the stats Bakari Sanya got an injury next to his name and I took him off at about the 60th minute so it didn't increase into anything worse than it was. Um, after the game I checked on Sanya's injury and luckily I found out it was only small and they have told me that he should only be out for about 10 to 12 days. So that's much better than I expected and he should be back for the beginning of the season or next month. But I could just get a tr quick transfer. But if I want to so this is a quick round up. As you can see, I've only signed four players. Three are young and one is McGregor from Rangers. He'll be my new number one. Well, young Carmena will play for the reserves this year. I signed him from Spain as well with a central defender and is promising. Next, with lots of players leaving the club, both the RB and Armunia has left as I wanted them to, as well as numerous youngsters on loan that I want to gain first team experience. I expect a loan watch bonus episode on my channel to keep up to date with how they're progressing. I'm very interested to see how Kevin and Roberto get on in England, as well as young Benica Fobe, 
The reserve team is now full of under 18s and those who aren't good enough to be in the Arsenal squad for the future. I'll, I'll probably look to bring in one more 16 to 17 year old if I can find one who's both promising and cheap. Unfortunately, the Arsenal fans weren't too keen on Alan McGregor, but I think after a season they'll grow to love the guy because he had a good relationship with the fans at Rangers. And there he is, a uh, Scottish goalkeeper. And um, finally, we have my fixture list. You can generally tell how difficult or simple the beginning of the year will be for us. Um, and it's basically it. Thank you for watching and check out my channel. This was the Yard Gamer 1994 with Let's Play Football Manager 2011. That was June, July. Next up is August 2010. Thank you and goodbye.